I grew up listening to metal from the 60s, you know what I mean? And then in the early 70s, you know what I mean? Uh, I was introduced to Maiden through Carrie. So I was into people like, for instance, like Ryan James Dio, Bruce Dickinson, Rob Halford, you know, the real metal singers. I was really into that. I had friends that played Priest, and I thought they were a good band. Sabbath, every, everybody knows Sabbath, you know. Eagles, Boston, Foreigner, Jay Giles, Van Halen, of course. Maiden was the first introduction to the new metal of that time. But once I found Judas Priest, I found him by accident on the radio. You know, it's something like Living After Midnight or, you know, the the tame Judas Priest. And I dug it because there was two guitars and the singer was awesome. Well, we all had this running bet of what songs Priest would have to play, you know. They can't come out with, like, you know, their, their commercial songs. They have to play, like, Beyond the Realms of Death. That was my big thing. Well, they're going to play Beyond the Realms of Death. And you know, they have to. And they did. I leaned towards heavy stuff. Zeppelin, you know. I mean, I had my sisters who had friends that bought their first, uh, that first, that black, uh, that Stare with Heaven album. I was like, oh. Very early on, Jeff was into punk. I thought it was just garbage music. You know, I didn't, I didn't get it. Um, once I got it, I was like, oh, this is cool, too. It's just not the same thing. Um, it's funny how you just got to realize something to move on with it. And once I realized it, I was okay with it. One of my favorite singers at the time was Jim Morrison. I was into the Doors. So I, I think that played a big part in how I write lyrically. Was, uh, was his, it was something about him and what he wrote and how he wrote that I really admired. For me, my iPod, it would be exactly what you expect, probably... 90-95% metal. I got everything. I mean, you name it, it's on there. Uh, I have folklore music, uh, uh, Chilean folklore music. Boston, stuff like that. You know, it's awesome, but you wouldn't call it metal. I'm into Die Antwoord, um, which I would never um, have expected ever to... I, they never would have been on my radar. My girlfriend kind of got me into them. I got country, thanks to my wife, who's a big country, country fan. But she listened to old original country, OG, <laughs> OG country. Um, even Elton John, you know, who who doesn't like Elton John? <laughs> and I got Elvis on there. I love Elvis. Paul Simon, our comfortable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know that that other guy that with uh, Larry. <laughs> you know, Larry used to sing with Paul. <laughs> uh, but his uh, his Graceland album, I think, is a amazing album uh, I got I got the police I got stings uh, dream of the blue turtle album it's a, I can listen to that album forever that's a great album but you might be surprised at my South Park Christmas carols but I think you kind of understand <laughs> <laughs>